What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're back on the PvP account, and we have one specific goal in mind tonight. We have had our monthly reset, we have all of our food, and our goal tonight is to finish Sealand 20 in Light. And a lot of you guys have been asking, what does it actually take to finish Sealand 20 in Light? Well, as you can see, our six light heroes just don't cut it. The terrors don't really do enough, the bell rain's great for healing, but you're missing that burst damage to actually be able to finish Seal Land 20. So what are we going to do? We are going to build up our Faith Blade. So the plan is, we were thinking about building up a Nakia, because we have tons of Nakia copies, but... You know, we're just, we're about two months away from Anniversary, two and a half months, just around there. So, what we're going to be doing, since Anniversary should be a light hero, and we should have enough scrolls by that time, we already have 1,300, we should be right around 2,000, just enough to get nine copies, hopefully, of the new light hero. So, what we're going to do, we're going to take Faith Blade up to E5, just let him sit there for a bit, we have the food for it. He can be alright right now, he's not an amazing hero, but the one place he shines the most is Seal Land 20 of Light. So, we are going to build up a Faith Blade, not something you'll hear all that often. And then what we'll do is once we get those copies at Anniversary, hopefully, we will just swap out the new hero for Faith Blade because... Besides Sea Land 20, Faith Blade really does not have a place in PvP or PvE. Um, even after his buffs that he got late, like November, December, just wasn't enough. So what we are going to do is we are going to take him up because we have all the food we need. We have Odeo 1, Jara, Walter, we have Oberon and two Emilys. Perfect amount of food to get him all the way up to E5. And we have the copies, so let's get this done. Without further ado, we'll see how strong how strong he can be in Seal Land. I've never built a Faith Blade, so this is something that's really, really cool to me. Uh, I'm really, really interested to see how we can even do in PvP. You never know. The meta's changing so much, maybe he's useful. Granted, his, his main damage comes from his active, so he's of course very weak against the carry meta that we're in right now, but... We have all these copies. We're going to leave the Cruise. We're not going to take the Cruise because he can be good in uh, Interdimensional Arena, in Trial of Champion, and those places like that. So, uh, goodbye, Jara. The Petrify meme team is sad. <laughs> all right. One more. One more to get our Faith Blade all the way up to E5. Make sure we don't touch that Cruise. The last copy right there. And there we go. E5 Faith Blade. We have the resources as well, so we will level him all the way up to 330. Man, it feels good. We got another E5, and we are so prepared for Anniversary now. There's nothing we have to build or anything. Granted, maybe we'll keep them. I don't know. Maybe we'll swap them for Terra copies. It just depends on how good the new hero is, honestly. So there we go. 330, all set, all done. Now, I'm not really sure on how we're supposed to gear him out and set him up. We're going to go we're going to go conservative with a tanky setup. Hmm, I feel like so that's crit damage versus crit. I think we'll replace this one. We'll run um 3 there. Wonder if we should upgrade the stone just a little bit. We'll give it some try. So, just in case you guys are not aware, Let's go over Faith Blade skills since he has gotten a slight rework at the end of last year. His last passive is actually his uh his buffing one. He gets holy damage, speed, crit, and stun immunity, which as you can see here, the speed is great. Holy damage is okay, crit is okay for PvE, but the stun immunity, there's really nothing that stuns in PvP right now, so that's why if if this was control immunity like uh Mim, maybe he would have a spot. Not really sure, but Blood Nourishing is his second passive. Whenever a foe dies, gains self 100 energy immediately and increases his holy damage by 30% for three rounds. So every time you kill an enemy basically means he gets another active, which we'll go over. 
and his second or really first passive is ready for reaping basic attack targets the enemy with the lowest hp and deals armor ignoring damage which is huge you don't have to worry about armor whatsoever his active is blade assault it deals 300 percent attack damage against two random enemies uh basically the two that are the lowest health and deals extra damage armor ignoring damage for uh, based off the percent of uh, the targets lost HP so the lower they get the more damage will be done but of course like most of these skills it caps out at about 1500% of his attack but the big thing is it has a 100% chance to stun the target with HP no less than him for two rounds that stun is what becomes extremely important in seal land so um <sighs> I think I think we want we definitely want energy. We don't have a demon bell, so we're just gonna stick with this. The reason is you want this active to go off immediately. Absolutely, you need it to happen. Do we have any skins? Oh, no skins. Oh well. Oh well. So now that that is set up, let's just check our other heroes right now. Speed that should be fine. Um, you know we're not gonna really touch the enables. Overall, they should be fine for what we need. If we have to, we'll make them a little tankier. Um, I think we'll use. Hmm. I think we'll use the. Uh, I think we'll use this one. Just a little more damage reduce might be useful. So, let's jump over here. Get over here to Light Sea Land, and uh, yeah, hopefully this doesn't take many attempts. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna swap Faith Blade in right there. Everything else is gonna stay the same. So let's see how Faith Blade does. You've seen us do this in the past, guys. So let's see what the difference is when using a Faith Blade. Faith Blade should stun two targets. See that? Two targets first round, which is gonna lower our damage significantly in that first round. As you see, we've we haven't we've procked a couple unbendings, but not too many. And then next round, Faith Blade will have yet another active. And from here on out, Faith Blade should have an active every single turn. Oh, he didn't kill someone. <gasps> wow. So close. The whole point with Faith Blade is that because when he kills a target, he gets an active again. Which means he will then keep stunning more and more targets and just locking them down. Wow. He did not stun anybody right there. That is interesting. I'm wondering if we should build him more offensive. I feel like that's probably what we're going to need. And we're going to need him to stun. That is very important. Yeah, that's not going to work. So, yeah. Actually, no. Let's give it a couple more tries as is. It should just take a little bit of RNG, but eventually it will work that he actually hits the, the right target, gets the stuns off. We only got one that time. But again, we just need to start wearing those targets down, live just long enough that we actually get the kill on one target. And once one target is killed, we are golden. The problem is living long enough. Okay, hopefully this does it right here. Oh, wow. Maybe we need to build him very offensive then. Let's try that. We're going to do a couple different things here. We are going to go in a Faith Blade. We're going to change his enables to be Offensive Enables. And honestly, you know what? I think we're even going to do that one as well. And we're going to come into our... Uh... <sighs> yeah, we're just, we're just going to go HP Enables on everybody. That way, hopefully, we can take maybe one or two more hits. That would be really good if we can. We just got to dodge some of that damage, live like one or two extra hits so that we can start chaining those kills. And once we do, we'll, we should be much better off. I don't know if it would be better if we ran uh, double Terra instead of triple Ada. It's something we can play with as well. But I feel like most teams had an Asmodel as well in the past. Granted, we don't have one. But I feel like this should work. Instead of the Asmodel, we have a Terra. I think it can work. I'm pretty sure it can work. There we go. We got one stun. That's good. We really needed that second one, though. Oof, we're not doing too much damage. 
We're not doing too much damage here. I wonder if I should put an Ada in slot one, actually. Or actually, you know what? Maybe I should put the Bell Rain slot one. That could be really good. Let's change the lineup just a little bit. Change the order. Put the Terra in the back row. Maybe makes him live one more turn. And Terra dying, or I mean not Terra. <laughs> Bell Rain dying isn't a horrible thing because, uh, you know, she just increases the healing of the entire team. So that's always good. Oh, that was not a good hit. Of course, then we put Bell Rain in the front, and she still doesn't die. So close. So it's gonna take some RNG, but this is what it takes to actually clear Sealand 20 in light. Oh, we gotta get that double stun off. It's so important. Oh man. We keep going down. We need, we need that Faith Blade to live. Without Faith Blade living, we just don't have that much of a chance. Maybe we should put one more Terra in. What do you think? I'm thinking that's a yes. Let's try it out. Let's let's try it with two Terra instead of uh, three Ada. Let's do two Ada, two Terra, Bell Rain, and Faith Blade. Ooh, no, Faith Blade, you didn't get any stuns off. Not good whatsoever. And Faith Blade is actually about to die, too, which is not good. I wonder if I should put Faith Blade in slot, too. It seems like it's one of the safest slots to put them in. Let's try that. We're figuring this out as we go, guys. Oop, didn't mean to take you out. Let's do that right there. And we didn't get any stuns whatsoever that time. Of course, they just like, they're sniping Faith Blade every single time. Oh, we gotta get to another active on Faith Blade. Come on. It actually does feel like it's better putting Faith Blade in that front row until this round right here. And then he's just gonna get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. We're so close. Come on, guys. We can do this. We just gotta, we gotta chain those kills. We gotta get the kills. I think I'm going back to the Ada. I think I'm going to go back to Triple Ada with Faith Blade in the front row. Okay, perfect. Those two stuns are going to be absolutely huge for us. That's really good. So far, so good. This is, this is turning out very well. We need to get to our next Faith Blade active, and then we can start chaining these kills. Oh, don't die. Whew, that was close. All right, Faith Blade, do your thing. Oh, no, he didn't kill him. Wow. Wow. You know what? Maybe we should change to something different on Faith Blade. Maybe we should do something a little different. Change it so he doesn't do an active round one. I wonder if Crit Crit would be good. I feel like that could be good. We do have Antler's Cane we can try as well. But we're very close. Just getting those first two priests down is going to be such a big difference. We got all the Adas with their actives off, which is really, really good for us. The problem here is it's going to take so much longer to get Faith Blade to his second active doing it this way. And I don't think it's going to work. Yeah, we're just we're just taking way too much damage here. He's just not tanky enough. Nope. We'll give it a few more tries. You know what? We're 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 invested tonight. We we want to get this done. We want to get C Land 20 done. Checkbox done. <laughs> it's the one place we have not seen a C Land 20 on this cert on this uh this channel. We we gotta get it done, guys. Oh, only one stun there as well. Honestly, I feel like the Terra is actually a weak link. It Terra just doesn't do enough damage, it feels like. Wow, we're all still... Well, oh, man, the Faith Blade went down. That's not good because everybody's about to get wiped out here. <laughs> oh, so close, so close. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think we're going to go back... We're going to go back to what we had in the first place. Do we have any demon bells? Any demon bells on anybody? Yeah, we're going to steal a demon bell off carry right now. 
yeah let's um where is it yeah we're just gonna put a magic source on carry come back in here to faith blade throw there we go you know what since we're going to be keeping this hero anyway and doing a swap we might as well just level this up at least get like a c6 stone the stats i'm sure are going to help us a ton on on an e5 faith blade so let's keep going we're just going to level honestly we might take it all the way to c6 i don't know it just depends on how much dust we have or i mean a s3 sorry definitely taking it to a c6 no matter what attack attack we'll hold right there for now three piece we have like max attack built on him right now i'm feeling like we can get this to work i think we can plus we have the demon bell which is going to be even more attack on that faith blade oh we already lost an ada that's not good the goal is to keep them all alive one more round. Oh, that wasn't a bad round. We got to kill some targets here, though. We have to. Oh, we just barely missed the kills. Oh, we're so close. So close, guys. Oh, come on. We can do this. I'm wondering, actually, if we should just build everybody full attack enables instead of HP enables, since really unbending will is what's keeping us alive. I mean, like there, we just got one-shotted, so we procced unbending at full health. Man, if only we had, like, maybe another bell rain. Ooh, we're not even gonna get another active off because of that energy drain. It's brutal. Yeah, that's, that's a rip. <laughs> that's a rip. So let's go back in there and come back to our heroes. So... Let's build them more offensive. Maybe we can get a little lucky. Get some really good damage going here. I don't think we run Faith Blade with, uh, with Balance Strike. I think everybody has to have Unbending. I don't even know why I changed you. We're, but we're, we're just changing you for now. <laughs> maybe maybe it'll be better to run, uh, run the 2 Terra instead of the 3 the three Ada. We're going to literally go full offensive here, guys. We're going full out offensive. See if we can just... I mean, the big thing is you got to kill that other target so we can chain those CC stuns on all of our Faith Blades. You... Honestly, actually, yeah, I'm going, I'm going attack enables, at least on these two. All right. Do you need CC resistance here? Does Purify do anything? I don't think so. I, I forget. I forget what they. I forget what they do in Light Sea Land. What the Dark Ones do if they put a debuff or not. I can't remember. We got one stun. We really need two stuns. Oh, they do petrify. I guess. Okay. I did not notice that. That's definitely gonna need Purify then because. That just locked us out from getting our active one turn sooner. Yeah, that, that's not going to happen there. That's not going to happen. We need to go back. Back to the drawing board. <laughs> Swap this back out for Purify. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come in here, take one of these Adas out, and throw in a second Terra for hopefully the damage boost. Hopefully the two Terrors can do some really, really sick damage. Oh, we didn't get a stun on either of them. I'm wondering if we should put Faith Blade back in the back row now. The Terrors definitely seem like more damage. Less survivability, but more damage. Let's do that. Let's check that out. Okay. Come on, Faith Blade. Oh, only got one stun. Of course, Faith Blade immediately gets hit that round. Jeez, man. Oh, Faith Blade getting taken out when we put him in the back row. It's just not going to work. Man, if only we had Faith Blades active come up more reliably. 
We're so close to doing this. If you can just get to the second Faith Blade active, we should be set with all our damage we have set up now. Double stun, that's exactly what we needed. Because those priests are the ones that hit the back row. And if you can keep those priests stunned for two turns, you can almost permanently stun them here. Granted, the warriors do hit the back row in the uh, for their, their ultimate attacks, their actives, but we need big damage from Faith. Oh, my goodness. So much damage. So much damage. It is absolutely crazy what you need for Sea Land Light. When you compare it to Dark and how easy Dark is, I mean, you look at this. We have a full E5 lineup, even with Faith Blade, and we're struggling. We're just struggling. Ooh, that's not looking good. We only got three people left. I don't think we're making it. Oh, we lost the Faith Blade. We lost the Faith Blade. I can feel it, though. We're so close. If we don't get it in the next two attacks, I'm going to do a little bit of research, check out what other people have used for lineups. I mean... Without that stun, there's just no way we're going to win. It's pretty much like Carrie having hit the dragon in Dark Sea Land. We need Faith Blade to get that double stun off to have a chance. There we go. This one has potential. Okay, decent damage. Decent damage. We need Faith Blade to live one more turn, which is the problem because... It's almost like we need to kill someone in that second round. Yeah, I feel like Faith Blade definitely has to be in the front row. Definitely is going to have to be in the front row. Let's just do one more attempt with this. Swap that back around. Put that Ada back in the back row for a little more survivability. Oh, we didn't get a stun on either of them. And really just comes down to we need those two priests to not get hit with a uh with an attack so that we guarantee the stun if they get hit with an attack we're pretty screwed so this is not looking promising this time around yeah we just get one shot so what we'll do is we will go do some research on light sea land come back tonight and do 10 more so i know we're pumping a lot into it but i know we can do it so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right guys we are back so i did a little more research i did notice just about everybody was using a punisher staff on their faith blade <sighs> kind of makes me want to upgrade this even more we're, we're we don't have much more crit precision that might be good can we actually upgrade it one more time we're gonna go broke on it Ooh, no speed precision which means we cannot convert <laughs> oh Barry doing Barry things. Hold on, hold on. There, is there is there dust around here? Oh, there is dust. We're, we're doing bad decisions here, guys. Really, really bad decisions. Oh, man, all right. We got we to gotta swap this, this right here. That was not bad. We're going to do a couple more, though. See if we can get something like a crit crit. There we go. All right, so we're going full on crit. So there's two different ways I've seen it done. One is instead of the Terra's at all, you have two Asmodels, which means when you crit, you do even more damage, which helps burst down those targets. The other way I've seen it is with two Michelle's. So let's give that a try. I didn't realize someone has got it done without those two. What they do is they have you in the back row and two Michelle's. So this is the lineup. We have energy on both Michelle's as well, so that hopefully they get some good stuns off on the first round. It only got one stun, but the other thing is they will come back to life, which is really good. We didn't get stuns again. Uh, wow, that was a that was a complete wipeout. You really need some good RNG on those Michelle stuns on the first round. Okay, we got two stuns. That's not bad. Faith Blade is just getting picked on right here. All right, come on. Faith Blade, get some good damage. Oh, no stuns, though. That is going to hurt because, yeah, Faith Blade is just going to go down. So we'll give it a few tries with the Michelle method. If it doesn't work, we'll go back to the Adas. But I feel like the, the chaining of CCs is going to be very, very important for us here.
Hmm. Not good so far. The, it's not working great, but it was done. I've seen a very similar attempt done with this lineup with actually only like a ton, like, what was it? A 10 star bell rain, I think. Something like that. Ooh, we didn't get an active off from the Faith Blade there either. That's not good for us. Yeah, we got to skip that one. Got to skip it. Come on. We can get some good RNG. Okay, not bad stuns there. We need two really good stuns here, though, from Faith Blade. Not quite enough. Doesn't look like we're going to kill anybody either, which is the big problem because we need to reset that active on Faith Blade over and over and over again. So maybe what we'll do is drop one of them and throw in yet another Ada. See if that can help out. One extra stun from the Michelle, plus the Michelle can revive. Oh man, the, that Faith Blade is just getting beat up so hard. So I think what we can do though, is we can change out of Purify on our Bell Rain, at, or not our Bell Rain, on our uh, Faith Blade as well, because in the back row, he should not get petrified. So we should run two all the way straight down. That should work out pretty well. Honestly, you know what? Which, uh, Let's see, what was our current lineup here? We got a lot, a lot of decisions to make here, guys. So what we're going to do is put these two Adas on a pure attack setup as well. So these two right here, actually, hold on. That's full, that's tanky, that's tanky. Yeah, what we're going to do is change these two out since they're going to be in the back row. We're going to change them out for full offensive as well. I think that'll work. I think, I think this is going to get us really close to a success right here. Really, really close. Come on. We can do it. All right. Not too bad yet. Got one stun, which is good. Ah, oh, that Faith Blade went down. The problem is going to be we have Ada. All of our Adas are built for PvP, which means speed HP. We really need the damage, so maybe we should throw in a Terra as well, just for a little extra damage. Granted, we're going to miss out on that stun, but Michelle's stun is not that reliable. Alright, that wasn't bad. Just not quite enough. Ooh, we got to kill a target that round. It's our only hope is to kill a target that second, not uh, third round, yeah. All right, not bad so far. Oh, we just need big, big damage from that Faith Blade. Bell ring going down, heals everybody back to full. Come on, kill that target. We're so close. We need someone to kill this target right here before Faith Blade goes. <sighs> so close, guys. We're getting so close because once Faith Blade gets to use an active every turn, we just do so much more damage. It's a chain reaction. Okay, that was a good round. Faith Blade barely got touched there. We got one stun off. That's good. Faith Blade is already procced, which is going to be a problem. We got to kill one target before Faith Blade goes this turn. Come on. Kill this target right here. Yes, there we go. Now Faith Blade should pop off. Yes. That's exactly... Oh, no, but the Faith Blade went down. We might still have a ch No. Too much damage. Too much damage, so... You know, tonight we're doing it again. I know we're wasting some gems, guys. I know, but I want to see if we can get it done tonight. If we can't, we will definitely follow up this weekend and do more attempts. But 
I just feel like we are so close at this point with this lineup right here. Get a couple stuns. Come on. Ooh, we did a lot of damage, but we didn't get any stuns off there. And Belrain just needs to die for us right here. Come on. Oh, so much damage. We just need a little bit more RNG on who gets hit, and that Faith Blade is just going to carry us to victory. Honestly, we could probably change the Terra's uh, third passive as well. You could probably actually change the, uh, the Ada as well. Oh, man, that was just horrible. Because we just we could just hope that the RNG works out, that the uh, the the eight in the front row doesn't get petrified and just go full offensive. You know what we probably should do? Change that over to Mage Gear. Oh, we don't have more three sets. So what we're gonna do is literally just we're just gonna give her full Mage. Yeah, we're just gonna do that. Damage reduce there, energy there. That should be fine. The energy actually isn't even that important. It really isn't that important. Hmm. Let's do that. Because really, nobody gets an active off round one. So it's not that important. Because Ada's damage really comes through when uh, the enemies use their active. And the first round, not one of them is going to get an active off. So we just need the Ada's to use their actives round two. Oh, but the energy drain is brutal. I stand corrected, maybe. I think I made a boo-boo. <laughs> oh, so close to killing that one there. Yeah, that's not going to work out. We need more people alive. We'll try it one more time. Maybe if we get lucky with the Ada hits, they don't get energy drained. Otherwise, maybe we will go back to full energy on all the Adas. Oh, yeah, two of them again got hit with that. Which means so much less damage incoming. Well, get an active off here. This has got potential. This has potential right here. This has a lot of potential right here. Oh, that active. We are so close. I think this can work, guys. I think, I think what we have right now is perfect. We just need the RNG gods to... To just shine their light right down on us. Just don't drain energy on too many of our Adas. That's good. We get two Ada actives. Really, really good. Sadly, we don't get a Faith Blade active right there. But, oh, Faith Blade just got wrecked. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. So much damage. So much damage. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Oh, Faith Blade got hit again with that energy drain. That is so brutal because all of our damage is going to come from Faith Blade doing those awesome big crits. So, hmm. <laughs> maybe, just maybe, we need to go back and actually fit every Ada with energy. Thinking that might be what we want to do. I think, I think that's what we want to do. Let's, um... Let's go back to our Michelles. Just take off everything we put on them. Oh, there was some six star gear. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. There's some six star gear. That's what I like to see. And actually, I feel like leaving the skill damage ones probably better. Probably. So what we're going to do is replace all this as well. And sadly, the last one, yeah, we're just, uh, we'll just run 2-2, two, two, why not? But we're going to run energy on every single one of them, just so that we guarantee they all get their actives off, because that damage is going to be so, wait a minute, I messed up, <laughs> I did not put the energy artifacts on, I got so worried about the gear, oh, that's not going to be a win, Faith Blade got the energy drain, it's just guaranteed to not be a win, alright, Adas, energy, where are you energy and one more time energy all right all right all right and hopefully at this point the only rng we have to worry about is that faith blade does not get any energy drained whatsoever come on 
We got all the eight actives off. Oh, Faith Blade got energy drain. No, that hurts our damage so much. And then, yeah, Faith Blade just got killed, essentially. Not good at all. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going. We can do this. Come on, Faith Blade. Dodge the energy drain, please. Yes. Yes, this is going to be this is our chance right here. This is going to be our chance. We're going to be so close. Don't die. Nobody die. Perfect. Ada CC'd, but come on. Oh, if only Terra attacked first. Come on, Faith Blade. Yes, we are down. Don't die. Oh, my goodness. We are so close, guys. We are so close. This might be a three-night event that we do. <laughs> we have reset coming up here in about ten minutes. Come on. We can get this done, guys. I have faith. It does seem like having all those Ada's user active round one is working out better for us. Overall, oof. Oof, oof, oof. Just not quite enough. Yep, not quite enough. All right, let's just do one more for right now, and then we'll come back tonight. Do a few more attempts. I know this might be a long video, even if it's a failure, but this is what it takes for Light Sea Land. Ooh, Faith Blade almost went down. That was really, really close. Only one stun. Ah, oh, Faith Blade went down. We can't end on that. We can't end on that. One more. One more. Come on. Faith Blade got the energy drain, so... Yeah, we're not going to have the damage to kill anybody here. Man, I know. I know, guys. I'm wasting, I'm wasting gems right here. I know. But I know we can get this done with just a little bit better RNG here. Oh, that energy drain on Faith Blade every time. So frustrating. So frustrating. I just want to see one go through where Faith Blade actually doesn't get hit. There's so many targets to hit, yet they somehow manage to hit Faith Blade every single time with the energy drain. There we go. Here's our shot. Two stuns. That is perfect because those priests. Oh, come on. I've. N I don't think I've ever even been this frustrated watching our like fortress sea lands guys this is just beyond frustrating so we will come back tonight we will do 10 more and hopefully get this done in one video for you guys if not we're gonna have to do it in separate but i will get it done for you i'll see you in a little bit all right guys the reset has happened i think what we have is going to be our best chance right here i think i think this is pretty optimal the only other thing we could check is our Terra. Go full offensive. And we're going to change this to an Antler's Cane. So maybe we get a kill one turn earlier. But I feel like this is what's going to work. I, I just... It's going to take a lot of attempts. And when you record them, it can get frustrating if you can't tell. <laughs> That energy drain again just means defeat. So actually, you know what we're going to do? We're going to put Faith Blade on the front line. I feel like the front line has been better off of not getting hit with that energy drain. But watch. It's just a magnet, I bet. It's always going to hit Faith Blade, right? No, no, it didn't. Okay, okay. Not bad. I'll take it. We got one stun there. Terra is down and an Ada is down, which means we are not passing it this time. We really need that bell rain to die, like, immediately. Oh, we were so close to getting an active on that Faith Blade. So, so close. I think the problem with putting Faith Blade in the front is in the later rounds, he's going to get hit with those single target attacks. Man, we really need to get that... 
We need that energy, guys. We need the energy to go on round two for Faith Blade. And we need Bell Rain to be the one that gets hit with everything. I'm wondering if we should even just make Bell Rain not have Unbending Will. Ooh, this is looking pretty good. This is looking decent. Can we kill someone before Faith Blade goes? Nope. Nope. Man. No, we, we definitely... This is frustrating, guys. We Because I know we can do it with this lineup. I know we can. But we do need Faith Blade in the back row. Because otherwise, we just won't be able to take enough hits. I just realized I'm using the wrong Terra. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Barry doing Barry things right about now. <laughs> Jeez, guys. Oh, man, we're just getting wrecked. We're getting hit so hard. Come on. All right, here's our chance right here. It's actually a problem that Faith Blade gets hit with the energy or the speed because normally if Terra would go first, Faith Blade would then have an active. That's interesting. That is interesting. It's almost like the Bell Rain is being a, a hindrance by where she's getting her buffs off. This is good. Only one stun, but... Yeah, we're just not going to get the kill off before Faith Blade gets to attack. I mean, we're going to live, but Faith Blade is going to die from the active back here. Even though he kills targets, he's just going to die almost every time to the main target in the back. Because his damage is so strong, you need Faith Blade to take him out. Okay, here's a chance. We got a shot here. We got two stuns, one on the warrior, one on the priest. Not bad. But again, we're not going to get a kill before Faith Blade attacks, which is the biggest problem here. Because Faith Blade will easily two like, oh man, it's so close. So close. I feel like having an Asmodel over a Terra would actually be so much more useful right here. Oh, that face blade doesn't have energy. There's no way we win. I mean, the only thing I could think is maybe putting, like, Bell Rain in the back row to hopefully she dies sooner. Because, honestly, I don't even want her getting an energy attack off because it's actually being a hindrance to us. That's not bad. But, again, our Terror got hit with the energy drain yet again. Oh, come on. If you guys can't tell, this is like one of the few times I've ever been this frustrated with idle heroes. Because I know we can do it. Which, it probably wouldn't be bad if we were just smashing the level constantly. Oh my god, energy drain again. How is this happening? It's li oh, Man. Man, I know. This is the last one, guys. I swear. I'm just so frustrated because I know we can do it. Oh my god. How do they hit Faith Blade every single time with an energy drain? Every time. I don't see how they're doing it. I want to change one thing up. Maybe just one of our tear or one of our uh, Adas. We're gonna swap back to a crown and just hope she doesn't get hit with the energy drain either. I know it's just adding even more RNG to the equation, but the sheer amount of RNG that's involved here is even more than Dark Sealand. I feel like we only got one stun again. All right, 
or, or we're calling it for now that's just not gonna happen without extreme rng this is probably gonna take a couple weeks of just sheer brute force attempts to actually get this done that attempt was so good except faith blade was dead like that was the biggest difference one last one i've wasted so many gems right now i need to stop this is like a bad addiction at this point guys okay here's a shot double stun come on only got one which means faith blade is gonna die every time Uh, there's no point watching without faith blade there's no chance though all right we'll come back to it guys very disappointing night whole whole day honestly because i started the attempts earlier in the day into the night wasted gems but we will get it done i guarantee you we will get a light seal and 20 done on this channel so hopefully you guys enjoyed my frustrations tonight because this is a long one i know it is it's probably like 30 40 minutes long of failed attempts but i swear i will get a recording of it successful for you guys so hopefully you guys tune in for the, the live stream tomorrow and i'll see you guys in the next one